Okay, so who do I want to start off with? It's going to use Thunder. However... Actually, yeah, if we switch you and Bob, you can use... Yeah, that'll work. I think. Hopefully. We'll give it a shot. TM. Kept me waiting. I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Nav. I put everything into studying and making my Pokémon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. And all of that hard work, all of it... All of it was just so that I could beat you right here, right now. Yeah, well you did a pretty good job of that last time. <laughs> Unfortunately, lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand that soon enough. Yep, there goes the drizzle. Okay. Pop that over there and get that super cell slam. Oh no, that didn't do a lot. Wowzers, it doesn't matter if the type up matches work out for you, though I'll still win. Oh. But he came prepared. Alrighty. Weather ball. Um, I'm fine with that. Ow. How do you like that? See how hard I've trained? Not like the kid you battled in Ketakami, huh? Oh no, Bob's being bullied. Well then. You know, I think this is the time we bring Jack back out. And then we do the switch over where Ivy now attacks the Politoed. And Jack can finish off the Dragonite. Up. There you go. There's one down. Even Lux chosen you over me. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Yeah, that's a life, Kieran. Here, I'm sure I'll give you another gift though for of it. Please be enough. Yes. All right, we're leading him in the battle then. The Porygon Z. So this one has Ice Beam, Incineroar. Right. All right. So it might be a good time to switch Jack out then. Um, well. Oh yeah, because Fairy resists that. Maybe get Porygon Z down a little bit. Um. Yeah, I think Willie coming in here might not be the worst idea. Getting rid of that uh, Intimidate. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that probably... That guy's not going to be able to do anything this turn, though. So, if we focus on the Incineroar, that'll be good. And in fact, we'll bring Jack back out. Which we will then Earthquake. And then... Hydro Pump. Yeah, goodbye, Porygon Z. Come on. Not the best, but we'll be able to survive. Especially if this hits. Come on, Willy, you gotta hit this. Please, buddy, for all... Of yes! Okay. Alright. 
a Grim Snarl. So that guy has fairy types uh, debuff, but also gets rid of the physical type attacks. So if we just keep doing this, I'm going to slow him down. Yeah, because you're going to pop that up. Ah, uh, come on, Billy, survive. No. That's not good. And now, especially since it has a hyper beam back up. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Can the rain stop? Yes, the rain stopped. So let's throw Pyro back out and try our best to get rid of... Ah. Just go down already. How are you still standing after I've thrown everything I have at you? Spite, which I think you know a lot about. Okay. So it's a 3v2. And yeah, the evasiveness of those two are fallen. So it's gonna... It's gonna get rid of the type effect of that. Which right now, I just need to get rid of... Ah. Yeah, no, we just attack this guy. And just try to get that down. I don't need the old me anymore. I've changed, and I'll show you. I could change again. Oh no, he's going to use his Terra Orb. <laughs> Huh. There he goes. I probably should have attacked them both on the same one. Ah. Uh, that's not good. Ooh. You know, if he attacks us again with that uh, same Sucker Punch technique, we might be able to knock him out by that virtue. Oh, never mind. Pyro! Thank you. That's at least going to give us another turn. Okay, I'm going to assume that Pyro is dead. So let's just do this. And assuming he does the sucker punch on that, we're going to try and take this down. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Bit problematic, but that's fine. It's okay. Pyro's gonna be dying. Oh, no. Um, well. Yeah, Spirit Break. That's not... Well, that's... Okay. Yeah! Aha, <laughs> suck it! Alright, Pancake. You and Jack, like old times. You've got to pull a lot of weight here. They're pretty damaged, but anything could still happen. Nope, not you. As much as I love you, Jack, it's gotta go to Pancake, that. As long as we get down this uh, Hydrapple, we should be able to get rid of the Grim Snarl with time. We just gotta get rid of it. Come on, Pancake, you gotta pull through. Come on, Pancake! Drift on him! That good old pancake drift. And... Yeah! Okay, I think we've got it in the bag then. As long as we don't kill Pancake by accident, we should be fine. Go, Pancake Cannon! Ha! Ah. Alright. And we beat Kirin. Which, he has gotten a lot better since we've last seen him. What? How? Ah. 
<laughs> that's that's the face of someone who's seen uh, terror. <laughs> On a close-up of the shoe. What? He actually lost? Let's go, guys! Oh, they're abandoning him. No way! This this wasn't supposed to happen! Yeah, we, I made sure the timeline to switch that. No! Oh. Huh, way to go, both of you. That was awesome. Oh, honestly, Crispin, you need to read the room, would you? Uh-oh. Wait, Drayton. Good match, you two. Good match. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? Ex-champion. Oh no. This is what he wanted. He just wants to torment Kieran. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Yes, we got our new BB League champion. The Academy's got a prize for people like you who make it all the way to being a champion. Here, all yours. Another Master Ball! Uh-oh, I think I should go get a doctor checked out because I don't think you're supposed to have three balls. Three masterful balls, mind you. Kieran. Bing, bong, bong, bing. This is an announcement for the following students. BB League Champion Kieran, Top Elite 4 Member Drayton, Carmine of Class 3-2, Navillo, our exchange student, Miss Breyer, and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to Classroom 1-4 as soon as possible. Bing, bong. Now, oh, what could that be about? Now's not really the time. BB League Champion Kieran, huh? Hey, you're really gonna need to update that. Oh, Drayton, could you seriously not right now? It's not just not right, and certainly not kind. Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Breyer hanging. Oh, we'll never hear the end of it. Go on, Nav, we'll meet you there. Oh, boy. I'll make sure Kieran comes to you, even if I gotta carry him. Aww. I think he would like that. Hi, Miss Breyer. I forgot what voice I gave you. You're all here, Miss B. Oh, thank you for all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left or a tour of the score me and moments ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you in on the situation. Have a seat. I don't mind if I do. These needs are creaking. Oh, please, you're not old enough for that. Ah, Navillo. I hear you've been busy battling your way up the BB League, but to think you made it as far as champion, what a dazzling accomplishment. Thank you so much, Miss Briar. Sorry, Miss Briar, but can we leave that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to talk about? Yeah, she forgot if Kieran was here. My apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic then. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's the place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapagos? A, a legendary Pokemon? Sorry, Kieran, that's mine. First, let me allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the center of Paldea. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits even for research. That being said, recently we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for a few further research and quickly. But at our present Pokemon League, we had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time, to study Area Zero. So, it reached out to me and I've been requesting access to that area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with the well-trained Pokemon. And with Chinampian Navillo on our team, I know I could safely initiate the new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course. It would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little team and explore Area Zero? 
I don't know. I mean, I only have like 15 minutes left before I have to go home for the winter break. I don't know if I could fit an expedition in that. I'm afraid I must insist you go along, Champion Navillo. You have entered the depths of Area Zero already, after all. Okay. Well, we've got a speed run finding the legendary Pokemon then. Champion Nav, she was so kind to take this for me. Ooh, the Indigo Disc. A mysterious disc with an Indigo shine to it. What is that? Anyway, a TM or something? It's a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea to its true purpose, but I assume it has something to do with Area Zero. Hello! Are you ready to travel to Area Zero? I am. Splendid! We're finally ready to set off then. Oh, Kirin! You two feeling alright? Well enough to travel at least. Well, I'm. I'm fine anyways. Yeah, me too. I've had some time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine, I know what I have to do now. If I find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes... That's the spirit, Kirin. I'm afraid he doesn't have a Master Ball to spare for that, though. Alright then, shall we? Okay. Ooh, we made it. I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I dreamed about for years. Oh, this is incredible. Wowzers. Aw, he's coming back to his old self. We gotta go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. See what's even deeper. What do you mean by even deeper? What, are we gonna have to dig? Keith mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to someplace even deeper. Wait, doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the crystal pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it. The structure's exterior matches Greta's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in the area Zero. Nope, apparently not. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point in Area Zero that the expedition team managed to reach. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So, what you're saying is we should head inside the Zero Lab. Ah, the gate's closed though. Oh, you're right. Oh, what? how did that close? What do we have to do? Um, yeah, we gotta use the panel. Here we go, just walk over there. Wowzers, this feels like we're in a spy movie or something. Way cool. We broke him up a little bit. What? I didn't say anything. Sure you did, Kieran. Yes, please, I don't know why someone locked it. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. Uh-oh. No, oh, what's the matter? Something wrong with it? Yeah, it's it's a bit highly wired. It opened before though, right? Is there some extra step we're missing? Uh the professor was in the lab and I see, so last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate and the professor was there to guide you. Beep boop. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. It's talking! Insert Indigo Disc to greater access privileges. Please insert Indigo Disc. Ah, oh, relax. It's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. Yeah, let's just leave it at that and not look any deeper. Indigo Disc. What could it mean by that? Oh yeah, this thing I have. Don't worry, I got it. Oh, Kiju gave you a mysterious item before we departed? Ah, you think that's it? Oh, go on. Go. In. You have my permission. Well, let's insert. Please insert Indigo Disc. Yeah, let's go. Be gone, Disc. Indigo Disc confirmed. Zero Lab, Elevator, 
directed to Alpha Zero Under Depths. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Ah, oh, look at that, it opened. Let's head on in. Let's head on in. Oh, what did she see? Uh oh. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head in something. Well, it's probably because you just started running around, Carmine. That's because you were running around without any idea here where you were going. My god, Kira and I are on the same wavelength. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, huh? I'll shut it. <laughs> 